History is about to be created. It's on with Richardson and Martin at one end of the ground. But play goes on, sensibly so. McKernan tries to belt it clear. North go into attack through Carey. He gets the first kick of the night. Down towards Archer at half forward. North Melbourne deep into attack. Pressure now on the Tigers. And it's their skipper free who gets them away. Away to the half-back flank towards Gale who sees it over the line. Well... Time to welcome to the microphone, Ian Robertson. Welcome, Robbo. Did you see that at the Good other end of the ground? Andy, I tell you what, the spirit's evident here already tonight. A very, very big game for both sides. Great atmosphere very early on. Deer is there, Broderick also, but it's Gale who gets a kick. Fairly coming back into the side. Can't beat Brendan Gale. Got a bit of aggro about them, the Tigers tonight. Fired up. Oh, Brendan gets caught. He's going to get a free kick. Maybe a little lucky. Umpire said he was legged. I thought maybe the player came from behind. So Gale to send Richmond into half forward. You can't possibly pay the way. Hey, how could that be, Jared? The bloke in well, front had a good grip of it. Well, I must admit, Robbo, my first thought was that Edwards did take the ball first and then the North Melbourne player came in. But let's have a look on the replay. Dead set mark to Ross Smith. Yeah, you'd have to pay the man in front, I think, uh, looking at the replay. But pretty good uh, set up the Tigers' forward line. Edwards, uh, with Archer on him, is going to have a bit of an advantage. So let's have a look at the kick. The first one at goal. Big start for the Tigers. They lead by six points. Let's have another look at this one. Yes, what a great mark there by uh, Rossi Smith. But uh, good luck to the Tigers there because their man came down with it. And a pretty good kick too to convert. And that's just the start they wanted. Anthony Stevens harassing Matthew Knights in the middle of the ground. It was Keenan Reynolds actually picking up uh, the Edwards for Richmond. And a great example there of uh, how the other the players are disciplined in getting on with the game. No argument from Ross Smith playing his 200th game. Out of the rough contest, Greg Deer has a free kick and a 50-metre penalty. McKernan, since it's a fair 50. Well, it went from the centre, and he's going to kick from about 25 metres. Bit going on off the ball too, just ask Tony Free. Well, Greg Deer would have to capitalise here. Bit of a charity goal if he gets it. And already a change for North Melbourne. Ellison coming onto the ground, Mark Roberts off. Greg Deer goes for goal. The Tides have got their second on the scoreboard. Greg Deer gets a bonus goal for Richmond. Stuart Edwards has kicked one. Richmond lead 12 to 0, and Bond and Armstrong have a little to do. Well, Bond isn't picking up uh, Wayne Swass as we can see on screen. He's got uh, Anthony Rock. So we'll just pick up uh, Swass's position. Armstrong also in the middle against Broderick, two ex-teammates. The Tigers like a shy out of a gun. Deer, the bomb, gets them going again. Down towards the half forward line, fisted clear, Knights could be first to it. Away he goes with Stevens. Both Joe Dash, Broderick gets the hand pass away to Gale. Oh, they're setting it up again. Here goes Knights on the outer flank, in towards full forward, towards Edwards. Great use of the body. And he's going to have a shot. 25 metres out, almost directly in front, and he's already booted one. Well, I think the uh, forward line for Richmond was always going to present a problem. And right at the moment, the way they're getting the ball out of the centre so quickly, it's uh, leaving them one-on-one, -on -one and Edwards has exploited it. Edwards, for a fairy tale start for the Tigers, has converted. And the start doesn't come much better than that, Jared. No, particularly when you've had such a huge build-up throughout the uh, week, I would have thought uh, lots of ex-champion players from Premiership years being invited back to the club. There's Broderick getting the ball on by hand. Another one, uh, quick hands there by the Tigers, and implementing, getting all their midfielders getting a touch of the ball early, which is important in such a huge game. Three goals, Richmond, North Melbourne, yet to cross their half-forward line. Terrific start by the Tigers. The bounce favours North Melbourne. Matthew Knights goes after it. Hand pass. Pretty well straight up in the air. He gets a free kick. Tackle didn't have the football. Knights. 
terrific player for Richmond. Kicks across to uh, the right half. Oh, big leap. That's a free kick, isn't it? No, play on. Umpire calls it. Campbell leads in the race. Away goes Blakey, close to the line. Handball's back. Chance for Reynolds, off the side of his boot. Back towards the wing. Terrific block there by Brendan Gale. Oh, down goes Bond. Tackled by Fairley, unfair. Does that make sense? Yes. Well, it does to me, Sandy. This is Bond for the Tigers. Chris Bond, best and fairest player. Kicks the half forward. Ooh, Knocked like... away. Anthony Rock. The ball spills to the back. Richardson, the shepherd. Daffy's well tackled. Away goes King for North Melbourne and kicks it outside 50 metres. It'll bounce close to the line. Michael Gale, a brilliant gather. That was quite spectacular football. He gets onto the right foot and puts it back towards centre half forward. But a good mark is taken by McKern and a free kick. Was the Richmond player shepherded off the ball? That is the way that David Howard has seen it. And a free kick is against Mark that will go to Matthew Richardson. Well, a couple of easy ones there to the Tigers, but uh, that's what the crowd can do for you. And it does seem that uh, they are certainly pro-Richmond at the present time. I'm just thinking what the people outside the stadium will be thinking. It's always exciting when you hear the big roar. Can't get into the ground quick enough. Well, listen to this. If he kicks this, listen to it. Matthew Richardson's got his first. Tigers have kicked four. North Melbourne yet to score. Well, this is called getting off to a fly. Four goals straight, a couple of uh, favourable decisions from the umpire. Everything going the way of the Tiger at the present time. They're getting the ball out of the middle. All their champions have got... Uh, all their midfielders have got a touch early. And both sides pretty niggly. A lot of stake here in this game. Richmond four goals and at the moment it's five free kicks to nil the Tigers way still in the center but a dramatic opening to Monday night football here on seven well you would think North Melbourne would have been prepared for this uh, outburst by Richmond but they look a little shell-shocked McKernan and Deer socket pass to Campbell Broderick up towards Edwards Reynolds comes charging out, almost took the football with him. Now McMartin had it and then lost it. A snap round the body by Daffy. Oh, there's another one! <laughs> the Tigers are on fire! Nick Daffy has thrown away the number 44 jumper. He's down to number 10 and he's kicked his first. Whew, what a start. Unbelievable. What I haven't seen anything like this in 10 years, honestly. This is the best start in the game of football. Yes, they're under siege here in North Melbourne. Broderick getting the ball out of the centre pretty well. Wasn't the best of deliveries, but uh, you just get the feeling here that Mick Martin could sense the pressure he was under. And they go forward again. In towards the forward pocket, the kick coming from Campbell. Reynolds off the ground for the safety of the boundary line. And talking about under siege my golly there's Tony Jewell in the coach's box for the Tigers Johnny Northy with the uh, the headphones fairly the ruck work against Brendan Gale Brendan Gale too tall gets it to the front here they go again Duffy's kicked his second goal the Tigers have got six <laughs> this is unbelievable Sandy, this package is sensational. Oh, oh. Oh, well, I think that Daffy may well have been just minding Swass here. Swass just uh, on the back flank. He lets him go. Daffy goes through, kicks his second for the turn. And boy, is this a big start for the Tigers. And they have got one of the biggest roars collectively in the business. Crowd are going mad. We've been playing eight and a half minutes and Richmond have six straight on the board. It's unbelievable. North haven't been past this area once. Deer tries to stop them again. Rock short kick. They're going to get a chance this time as Trent Nichols sends them forward. They want gold badly. This may be their first. Trent Nichols. Trent Nichols.
was there. He summed up the situation pretty well. Longmire vacated the square. And on a slippery night, even if you're not going to make the distance, all you have to do is kick the ball accurately because the ball will generally bounce straight in a straight line. And that's probably why Kerry left it. McKernan, the ruck work against Greg Deer. McKernan up high. Didn't quite connect. Away goes Stevens. The kick. Well, brilliantly smothered there for Richmond by Rogers. Interesting and we'll setup. call for a bounce. Interesting setup uh, from North Melbourne, having Wayne Swass start on uh, Nick Daffy on a half back flank. You can see uh, Capuano and Craig Scholl, a surprise uh, bench starter there. You're giving the credit there to Duncan Callaway, who it was that smothered the ball. Michael Gale, the half forward, touched away from Ross Smith, gathered by Nash. Handball. Not quite far enough, but Daffy does well to gather. Handball, only as far as Laidley. Laidley had set a half-back. Under pressure, kicks it across the half-back line. Blakey put under pressure by Campbell. Reynolds comes clear for North Melbourne and kicks it to a vacant wing area. And it trundles over for a throw-in. I mentioned that I thought North Melbourne were a far more mature side this year, as we saw in the uh, Ansett Australia Cup. But uh, this is certainly going to be a test as we see the bench for the Tigers on screen. Real test now for North Melbourne, dude. Just steady under a, in a crisis. Scott was the target from the boundary throw, and he was unable to take it away. Duncan Kellaway, young man from Glen Waverley Rovers, picks himself up, as we said, a clear night. Expecting a low of a cool eight. Deer belts it down towards Gale. Caught by Fairley and slung. Campbell a chance. Another hand pass, good to Bond. Knights on all fours. As Dipper said in the opening, it is a little slippery underfoot. It may become more so as the night goes on. Free is taken over the line and dumped. Won't be too many easy kicks tonight by the look of the way they're both fiercely going at it, both sides. Just in the North Melbourne attacking zone. Deer again trying to swipe it. Archer out of bounds on the fourth. Bond will bring it back into play. Over centre wing. A big pack of players, but no markers. Fairly pops it back to the wing area once again. Bond rides a heavy collision. Carey is in trouble on the boundary line. Gives it away to Archer. Pops it up over the 50 metre line. Nichols running with the ball, but he also runs into trouble. Good defensive play. And that was by David Burke, son of Francis. And a throw in to take place. They're just certainly running in straighter lines and a little bit harder at the football at the present time, Tigers. And not surprisingly, they'd be just chock full of uh, adrenaline. Greg Deer being held on to, was he, by uh, Mark Roberts? That's the way the umpire sees it. So the free kick will go to Greg Deer in the right back pocket. He runs across the full back area and kicks out towards the wing. The ball was aimed for David Burke. Interference was applied there by Robert Scott. And Burke it is that'll take the free kick for Richmond. Burke's kick. Not bad. Good distance. Richardson bumped by Smith. And a free kick again. This is to Martin. Held when he didn't have the football. North Melbourne's first free kick. Seven to one, Robert. Roberts marks the kick. Roberts is on centre wing. A veteran now in this caper of AFL football. Matthew Armstrong marks for North Melbourne. He's wide at right half forward. He kicks into the pocket. Looks for long lines. Punched away by Turner. Burke is there. Well done by David Burke. Pretty confident for a young fellow. The kick is short. Down goes Rogers. The tackle by Schwoss deemed as a little late. Rogers for Richmond will kick them into their forward half. Up in the Martin and Richardson direction. The ball spills to the back. Fairly sloppy handball. That's the significance of the pressure being applied by the Richmond forwards. The ball for Nichols. He's smothered. Nash is smothered. Scott gets the handball. Smith for North Melbourne. Kicks back towards the centre of the ground. It's taken by Knights. Knights kicks inside 50. Sitting under it, Richardson. Budgie, that was a hard one to mark. Is he getting a free kick? Yes, Reynolds with the footy. Richardson's ball. Michael Martin just questioning the validity of that decision. 
And he ran back, maybe using the elbow, do you think, Jude? Yeah, well, he certainly did use the elbow a little bit. Uh, but it would have to be that he shepherded him, I would think, uh, within five metres or... Might be his birthday. There's plenty of 50-50 uh, decisions going to uh, Richmond as North Melbourne make another change. This is Richardson. Matthew Richardson going for his second goal. Surely will kick the distance. It's pretty close. It's another Tiger goal. Well, they've now kicked seven to one, and they lead by 36 points. Yes, daffy has got two goals. Richardson's got a couple. Edwards has got a couple. And Greg Deer, a lot of noted goal kickers, also got one. I had a feeling that was uh, pretty well reasonable. But anyhow, we're not out there. And North Melbourne certainly have swung a change and about to put another one on. Seven straight, plays one. Broderick couldn't take it out of the centre. Free pushing wide. Rock there also. And it's Anthony Rock who gets it away. Towards Wayne Schwoss. Had it and then lost it. Tough in the clinches. Free gets a hurry kick down to the half forward line. Here they go again. Broderick on the left foot. Stabs it towards Edwards. Unable to take it cleanly. Lately. Caught at half back. Gets the hand pass away. Socket off the ground. May go to Gale. Doesn't get a kind tap. But he does well to hit it back towards Bond who was tackled high. Here's a snap. And don't tell me they're off target at last. Listen to the booing. Oh, Rogers. Well, I'll tell you, somebody who has been on target and not noted for that, and that's the big fellow, Matthew Richardson. I think we all know that his kicking let him down on a few occasions last year, but to date, this year, he's kicked 12 goals, one. So he certainly has shown the benefits of a summer of practising. Martin gets a fist to it, so too does Gale. Roberts keeps it in play. Swings it back towards McKernan on centre wing. Under pressure from Knights. McKernan recovers, but his kick is smothered. Allison loses it to Rogers. He in turn is well tackled. McKernan kicks in danger. Umpire didn't see it. It's Bond, I think, that's in all sorts of trouble behind the play, Sandy. Well, play goes on with Wayne Carey. Danger here for Richmond because Stretcher Archer has it. Archer just inside 50 is going to have a shot. Is bending it back in towards full forward. Shepard it clear. Which way is it bounced? Oh, on the back. One behind. A push, in fact. A push on the last line of defence. While at the other end of the ground. Well, he's got to his feet, Chris Bond, but he looks very ordinary. Let's have a look at the it. doctor. Here it is again. Well, that's David Burke that's yeah. gone down. Yeah. Actually, yeah. That's, not the, that's not, not the one. Bond is coming off the ground. ground, though. Being replaced by Stuart Maxfield. A long mire. You can see there a terrific shot at uh, what is confronting John Longmire. <laughs> Should probably try and run around. He will. And kicks a goal. It may sound a little bit like an anti-climax, but that's North Melbourne's second goal in answer to Richmond's seven goals won. And still the Tigers lead by 31 points. Well, it was a desperate performance there by Scott Turner, but uh, really a little bit uh, careless. He just poleaxed John Longmire on the pole there. And it was always going to be a free kick. Deer sets himself up against McKernan and wins it. Down to Maxfield, who pumps it long and direct. Down towards Edwards. Couldn't take it cleanly. Lately leaves it for Smith, and he's well claimed the 200 gamer. Roberts tidies up. Off to Reynolds. To the outer side. Gale a chance. It bounces away from him, but he's quick. Needs help. Needs Knights. Schwoss is on his hammer. Close to the boundary line. Knights just shovels it over eventually. And the throw in to take place on the outer side. Chris Bond. Having a spell. His side at the moment, 31 points up. There's number 31, McKernan, does battle in the ruck. Socket clear, pass Daffy towards King. He runs out of room. Well, after a sensational eight minutes, <laughs> the crowd almost seems hushed at the moment. Perhaps wondering what on earth is going to happen next. Gale and McKernan.
Brendan Gale down towards Michael. Got it out towards Maxfield. Hurried kick down towards the 50. Rossi Smith stands his ground. Good luck in his 200. Yeah, terrific body work there by Smith. Gets it across to Roberts. Roberts down the wing. Archer. Couldn't control it. Uh, closely attended by Tate. And uh, Dipper, how is Chris Bond? Yeah, Robbo, he's OK. He's just a, a little bit winded up that hard knock, but uh, expecting to see him back on the ground shortly. Well, we'll have another look here at uh, Allison running into Chris Bond there as the boundary throw-in takes place on centre wing out of side. Schwoss throws his right foot at it. Gets pretty good distance under the circumstances, but it's taken by the Richmond captain, Tony Free. Very courageous player. Kicks down towards the half-forward area fairly, but this is Miss Ross Smith. Smith's kick in towards half-forward for North Melbourne. It spills to the back. Carey off the ground. Quick thinking by Wayne Carey. Goes towards Longmire. Handball wide. All back to Roberts. A bad fumble. In after it goes free. He's tackled. What will the umpire see in this? It's been a bit out of sorts, Mark Roberts, this season. Uh, and perhaps that was just another example of it. Just fumbled what he should have taken. But Wayne Swass has uh, moved into the centre of the ground after starting on Daffy. He's had two goals kicked on him early. David King's now moved over onto that player. Greg Deere doing a good job, but it spills for Anthony Rock. His kick towards full forward. The ball spills now. Scott Frick gets his left foot to it. Through goes Campbell. He kicks it clear, but the umpire has picked the free kick out. And it will probably go to Wayne Campbell. Nearly in the fullback position. He's probably about... Uh, 25 yards out from the goal line and he'll take the free kick Robert Scott standing the mark under seven and a half minutes remaining in this first quarter Campbell has been the Tigers best so far this season kicks towards Gale close to the boundary line and over it goes with young Burke Campbell's being picked up by John Blakey and uh, he's actually only had the one possession to date. Blakey's uh, a real shadow, very good player for North Melbourne. Just in the ruse attacking zone. They want to couple badly. Burke a chance to clear. Tumbles a puck down towards the centre of the ground. Daffy had it but then lost it. His opponent King picks it up and kicks it high and long in towards full four. Tigers are first to recover, and Deer, if it sits, could be away. The big man paddles it wide. Stevens gives chase. Stevens gets in front, but only for a moment. Well done by Turner. Great defensive work. Well, just to run and help was yeah. terrific by Scott Turner. Yeah, took the gamble. His man's 50 yards behind him, but he had relative control of the football and sought the refuge of the boundary line. Perhaps he won't be able to do that after this season. Well, who knows? Campbell tries to use the body. Almost gets there. Archer charges at the football, but so too does Knights. And another throw, this time inside 50. This crowd is certainly built to over 50,000 now. Kellaway. Somehow gets out of trouble, kicks towards Michael Gale and Robert Scott on the outer side of the ground. Just for the Tiger supporters at home, as we see Craig Scholl warming up, Matthew Richardson continues to play uh, well up the ground. He's uh, just inside the 50 metre square, or the centre square, I should say. Maxfield very determined, nothing much he could do there. And the boundary umpire will come into play. There's Matthew Richardson and Michael Martin, as Jared has said, well down the ground. They'd be uh, 75 metres from the Richmond goal. Greg Deere, Rock, Stevens can't get clear. It's tough and tight. Stevens looking to take possession of the ball. Just Greg. assert some authority. Greg Deere just winning the first uh, tap out as we see North Melbourne making another change. Robert Scott coming off for Craig Scholl. State player Craig Scholl starting on the bench. Anthony Stevens trying to get through. Oh, now the North Melbourne side get the ball rolling through Armstrong. He's kicked a full forward. Archer, round under the left foot goes Glenn Archer. McKernan. Scrambles a kick, but Kernan High couldn't take the mark. David Burke was pretty good in there. Whitney's kick clears the players at half back. Goes to the back for Nichols. Handball. Stevens goes nowhere. Straight to the Richmond player, Gale. Then Knights. Knights 
squeezes a kick down towards the wing. It's punched to the back. North Melbourne have got the uh, players at ground level. Ross Smith to tidy up. Kicks back towards half forward. But a strong mark, a really strong mark, is taken by Gale. And he plays on for the Tigers. Away goes Michael Gale, up towards the centre wing. And the mark taken by Chris Nash. Well, one of their favourite sons, well, Dale Waitman, he was known as the flea. Nash is known as the tick. Lately gets it away to King. King's kick goes oh. back towards centre wing and McDear stands in front of McKernan. It's been good for Greg Deer, as is Michael Gale, who's had nine possessions in the opening term. This is Stuart, Stuart Maxwell. Maxwell. <laughs> you were going to add one, were you? Oh, I thought about it. <laughs> Maxfield. Putting the Tigers inside 50 once again. Well, they all seem to lose sight of that. Mick Martin stayed at the back and appeared to hurt himself. In fact, hurt his wrist. He's going to try and take the mark now. Well done. And does, but favouring that uh, left wrist. Laidley. Oh, under pressure. Recovers well and should find Roberts. North Melbourne trying desperately to steady things down. Armstrong. In towards half forward. No carry. Whitney to tidy up at the back. Does so to Michael Gale. As Jared said, he's playing a blinder. He finds Maxfield on the outer side. The Tigers full of run. Maxfield towards Benny Gale over his head. Smith steadies to Keenan Reynolds. That ball was touched. Play on will be the call. Martin's going to have to be quick. He is going close to the boundary line, finding Stevens. Pops one up towards the wing. No one at home, however. Knights is there for Richmond. Scholl shepherded it out. Knights' kick is effective. Richardson towards the forward zone. Keenan Reynolds gets a shocking bounce. Broderick gets it away towards Nash. Nash snaps and just misses. One behind. Seven goals to the Tigers. North Melbourne, two goals. Archer, Capuano on the bench there for North Melbourne. Richmond lead by 32 points. It's interesting at the other end of the ground, not so long ago, we saw Longlight crashing into Wayne Carey. That's just what North Melbourne don't need to happen. They just seem a little bit uh, confused at the moment. Schwoz kicks to himself and then clears the players at half-back. In goes Callaway. Nothing much doing there by Duncan Callaway. Boundary umpire will throw it in about, uh, well, it's in Richmond's forward half by just 15 or 20 metres. Roberts gets it down in the direction of Armstrong. It's taken by his former Fitzroy teammate in Broderick. Broderick's kicking towards half forward. It's punched away from Nash oh. by Ross Smith. Oh, gee whiz, that was rough and tough by Ian Fairley. There's a struggle for possession at centre half forward for the Tigers. And the umpire will come in and bounce. It has been a rip-roaring first term by Richmond. 7-2 to two goals. Two goals each to Daffy, Matthew Richardson and Edwards. Up goes Gale. Kick clear, back towards the centre. Greg Deer, can he control the football? In goes Allison. A little toe poke to his own advantage. Goes in short. The pass looks all right. And Longmire, that was a pretty good mark out in front of his face because Scotty Turner was only one metre in arrears. Won't be any more difficult marks than that one tonight with a slippery ball. That's the low percentage marking area right in front of the nose. Longmire from 50 metres. The kick will hold up to the front of the square. At the back, Carey can't quite control the mark. And Whitney takes it over for a throw-in as Carey looks expectantly at the umpire but is quite happy to get on with the caper. North just trying to pitch a goal out of McKernan. They're throwing Mark Roberts onto the ball. Under two minutes remaining. McKernan a snap. A great, great snap. Goal. Well, if they needed lifting Corey McKernan, may have just provided the hoist. You'd have to say well done to uh, Dennis Pagan because I mean, clearly that's why he sent him down there just to see they can snatch a goal from somewhere, and that's exactly what he did. Out of the out of the ruck, Gary Ablett time, Ablett esque. Fantastic goal by Corey McKernan to give North uh, well just a little sniff of the action. One and a half minutes remaining. 
one and a half very vital minutes. But McKernan keeping North in the hut well and truly. Are the Tigers going to answer? Maxfield pushes, he gets a kick down towards half forward. Rossi Smith stands tall. Out in front of King. Look out. Crunch. Gale has played an excellent quarter of football. So too Edwards. And Knights. And the throw in to take place on that outer side. Dominating the midfield, the Tigers. It was always going to be their strength coming into the game. Reynolds and Edwards to contest. It's the former who whacks it round, but it's taken immediately by Knights off to Michael Gale. Gale centering kick. Big ass for Campbell, and he almost took a sensational grab. Gets it down to Benny Gale. Gale snaps with the left foot in towards full forward, and Richardson takes the mark. Wants to go on with it. Back you come. Back you come. Well, this is certainly going to test his accuracy, isn't it? Well, 12 goals, one to date. You've given him a rap. has three from the siren sounds the Tigers are going to get a standing ovation for this quarter of football yes well everything ran their way for the Tigers uh, three kicks were nine to two they perhaps got an easy mark uh, paid to Stuart Edwards then they got a probably a dubious free kick to Richardson but they are well and truly dominating at present McKernan with a roundhouse right belt into half forward, further on from Rock down towards Longmire and Turner at fullback. Turner defends, gets boot to ball just. Kellaway goes in, is there for a moment, and Longmire sees it over the line. Just 50. to give you some indication of Richmond's dominance, they've taken it inside the 50 metre zone 18 times compared to North Melbourne's nine. Deere and Roberts lock arms. Tigers have the numbers at the back. Knights hurriedly gets boot to ball. It passes Burke and a frustrated Corey McKernan will contest a throw. Well, quarter time can't come quick enough for North Melbourne. There's nothing to suggest that they can't come out in the second quarter and uh, really square things up. But uh, with 17 seconds to go, they really are looking for the breather. Deer down in front of Broderick. They've got boot to ball and going probably 25 metres. Stewart Maxfield and Wayne Schwartz. Discuss the scoreboard and the umpire said, I've had enough of this. And that's pathetic if ever I've seen it. So he's given a free kick to Maxfield. Free kicks 10 to 2 favouring Richmond. Maxfield awards Edwards and Gale territory. Neither can take it. Close to siren time. Kellaway gets the hand pass away. This could be the last kick of the quarter. Oh. It could be a goal of Rogers. Oh. Right on siren time. It's quarter time. In one of the most extraordinary quarters we've seen for a long, long time. Richmond, you are getting a standing ovation. Rogers gets his first. Listen to this crowd. And what a way to finish the quarter. Just when North Melbourne thought uh, that they had some refuge of the uh, quarter time break, the Tigers came up with another one. Quick hands from the 50 metre line. And yes, that was a fantastic goal of Rogers. So Richmond will go into that quarter time huddle, probably as pumped as they, as they have ever been in the last... Uh, few years they really have come to the party tonight you said it was graduation day Sandy well they've gone all the way haven't they well at the moment they've passed with flying colours but there are three quarters to go at quarter time Richmond 9-2 56 have stunned North Melbourne and many of this big crowd three straight 18 but stand at 10 to 2 in Richmond's favour one of them Went the way of uh, Stu Maxfield right here. A lot in this, or is this what you call pushing and shoving, gentlemen? I think it was very pedantic, but uh, that, as a result of free kick there, North uh, Richmond got, it, got their last goal. And this is what happened to Bond midway through. Didn't appear to be a lot in it. Both players going for the ball. So here we go, second quarter. McKernan wins it, but straight down to Knights. A high kick towards the half-forward line. Gale, and 
unable to take it. Stevens apparently out wide towards the wing. Bond leads in the chase. After him is Matty Armstrong. The boundary line is the winner on this occasion on the other side. Well, clearly North Melbourne have to gain some composure in this uh, first couple of minutes. They need a couple of goals. And there we see the matchup that we thought would happen at the start of the game. Bond onto Swass. Knights off the ground, down towards half forward. Richardson trying to clever little kick, which and eventually worked. Daffy, have you done it again, Nick? You've done it again. There's number three to the duck. That would really hurt North Melbourne. Mm, I think so. Yes, well, you said it all, and... Uh, Matthew Nice just continuing on his good form there. Geez, well, when the ball just pops in your hands like that, you know you're having a pretty good night. That's his third pretty handy one for the Duck. And at the other end, Stuart Wigney also doing well on Wayne Carey. Well, North Melbourne have just got to start to get the ball around the centre. It's a good way to do it with a big punch. Big thump down towards half forward. Anthony Rock couldn't control it. Stevens, brilliantly tackled by Matthew Knights. Oh, very fierce handball towards Mark Roberts. Down goes Stevens. Knights ties him up. And the umpire surely will call for about 30, 35 metres from the North Melbourne goal. They just don't look sharp at the moment, North Melbourne. They haven't really played all that well in the uh, regular season. Gee, they haven't been allowed much, have they? The Tigers have been at them right from the start. This is Callaway. Callaway's kick across his right shoulder. High flyer at the back. No, no mark. Schwartz has tackled. Bond. The high flyer was Burke and Matthew Knights underneath that uh, congestion of three or four players. And the umpire will call for a bounce. 60 metres out from the North Melbourne goal. The Tigers have kicked the first goal of the second turn. McKernan gets it down to Scott. He's ducked by his own player, Schwoss. And they're fierce at the football, the Tigers. John Norley did say uh, before the game, but they were hoping to implement the same sort of pressure that the West Coast put on North Melbourne last week. And uh, you'd have to say to date that they've followed the instruction to the letter. Oh, brilliantly read there by Scott. Handball into Rock's path. Rock's kick to the goal square. The ball spills. Tape. Can't break clear. Archer strong. That hasn't gone far enough. Freeze after Scott. In goes Tape again. And the ball hurried over for a boundary throw in. And the Tiger spirit quite evident because when a player does something good, there's two or three in there to give him a pat of encouragement. Thrown in the left forward pocket. A snap is good. And Archer has kicked a much needed goal to North Melbourne. Glenn Archer gets his first and the Northerners first for the second turn. They are four straight, but they trail. The tie to a 10-2. Yes, and Archer just reading Greg Deer's uh, tap pretty well there. Bit of a lucky kick, but uh, all you can do is put him through the middle. Spent some time on the bench in the first quarter. But he's got himself away to a good start in the second. 62 plays 24. A couple of quick ones will bring North right back into this game. It's Matthew Armstrong who kicks him down to half four. Tate cuts it off. From half back, Tate kicks towards Gale. Forced to use the fist, fairly looks to recover first. Gets it away quickly towards Armstrong. This time he goes deep in towards goal. No one at home, and Turner is there on the last line of defence. Turner kicks back towards Gale. Fairley is with him. Scott tries to sneak out the back door, runs into Gale. Kellaway's hand pass comes back to him and then he cops one high and he'll take a free kick. Initiated the hand pass to his skipper. Got it back. Was taken high. So goes towards Richardson and just the experience there of Martin giving him an ever so slight nudge as he kicks towards half forward once again. McKernan couldn't mark. Free pulls Ooh. the hand pass dangerously so over the top. This could prove costly. Turner chances his arm. He misses, but the support is good. And Campbell comes away. Kicks wide towards the centre. But here comes the charging McMartin. 
Handball back towards the centre. A little bit of pressure there after Armstrong. Oh, was that hot there, Nichols? But he did well, Trent Nichols. Robert Scott, the feigned handball for Stevens. The ball spills. In there is Daffy. Now Knights. The ball is hot. In goes Campbell. Campbell after two BOGs in the first three games. Kicks to half forward. No mark to Richardson. King under pressure. The ball is very, very hot. <laughs> Brendan Gale has taken a mark. Why did, oh, loose play on his own. Have a guess who it is. <laughs> Nick <again>. Garfield. <laughs> He's kicked three. Along with Matthew Richardson. And the turnover came with a look away handball from Robert Scott, which is almost a mortal sin when the game is so hot, the pressure is so immense. You've just got to be smarter than that and just pinpoint your handballs. Look to where you're giving them. Well, Daffy can make him pay, Jarrett, because he's kicking from only 40 metres. Certainly get the distance, and he's a pretty good kick for goal under normal circumstances. No. Well, certainly Scott will be sighing a uh, breath of relief. Let's just have a look at this handball again. You see him just trying to be a little bit too... Uh, a little bit too uh, skilled on that occasion. You've just got to look under those circumstances. And felt it on the bloke's chest. 63 plays 24. With just under 15 minutes remaining in this second term. And at the moment, North Melbourne not making a huge impression on the scoreboard. Broderick through without it. Schwoss couldn't take it, neither could Laidley. But look at the pressure he's under. They've got him like a pack of dingoes. It's their, their forwards in particular that are just making it so difficult. North Melbourne love to run the ball out. The Richmond forwards are just absolutely working OT. That's overtime, Sandy. <laughs> From the bounce, back towards Duncan Kellaway. Edwards goes to ground. Knights has a trap between his legs. He gets it out now towards Kellaway. A short kick only as far as Schwoss. High towards Scott and Gale. Well, well done, Gale. <laughs> Playing an excellent game. Twelfth possession towards the forward pocket region. Maxville was there. Rock had it and lost it, but he shouldn't have. Daffy again is knocked up getting kicks in towards goal. Smith marks and plays on. It's touched. Richardson. Now that's an example of what I was talking about. If you keep putting pressure on the defenders, they can't clear the ball efficiently, and a spray kick falls in Matthew Richardson's hands. And Robert Scott leaves the arena. I think this one must have been touched... Sandy, I'm not sure, but I think it was. And the, as you said, Robbo... The kick that yeah. Ross Smith marked, yeah. I, I would have said that that was play on, most definitely. But the pressure just came uh, like a swarm of bees. Richardson for his fourth. Is he kicking the ball away? A push, is it not? Yes. So Reynolds to take it on the last line of defence. Keenan Reynolds, not much room to move in, but he gets good distance with the kick out to the 50 metre area. Nearly the mark there to McKernan, it's been paid. Much to the uh, disdain of the Tiger supporters. Corey McKernan kicks the ball quite nicely out towards the right half forward area. The ball spills to the back, Whitney just a little slow. Scholl was onto it. In goes Tapey, strong and hard, fierce at the football. Handball to create for Whitney. Whitney thumps it in towards half forward. Contest there between Martin and Richardson. Martin nearly took the mark. Away to King, but it spills down for Maxfield. Then Knights. Knights' kick goes as far as centre half forward where Broderick gathers. Broderick snaps off for goal. He's kicked another one. his first and the goal scoring spree for the Tigers continues they're 11-3 North Melbourne are four goals yeah, well, Broderick uh, has had a pretty interesting battle with uh, Matthew Armstrong in the middle there's a little bit of uh, finicky stuff that did come up on that occasion bit of a fluky goal but uh, I'm sure Broderick will put it down as a ripper So the kick from Camperdown gets his first. They go into attack again. Through Gale down towards the half forward line. Socket off the ground. Back towards Gale again. 
fist it clear of him. Stevens skis along the slippery surface, recovers, bounces his way across the half back line. North Melbourne desperate for goals. He drifts it up in towards the centre. Broderick is there, Kellaway is there. Neither can take it. Out it comes to Schwartz, but there's been a whistle and a North Melbourne free kick. Comes back to Nichols. Down towards Longmire. One, two grabs. Fisted clear. No mark. Play on the call. Nichols does well as he charges over the top. Carey's been quiet. He shoots towards goal. And he kicks one for North Melbourne. Wayne Carey, only his second kick for the night. But it's his first goal. And his side's fifth. Five straight plays 11 3. It all started with a. Uh... Tim Watson type jump from Nichols. They appear to be coming into vogue. I saw one uh, during yesterday's games, I think. Here it goes. And a pretty smart handball. Nichols got uh, bench shortly after that. But I'm sure Wayne Carey was pretty pleased to be on the end of it because he has been relatively quiet. Go Very forward quiet. again, North Melbourne. Towards half forward. Gatherers by Rock. But have a look at that gang tackle. Armstrong comes away with the football. Goes for goal at the back turner. Judged it nicely. The kick not quite having enough carry. And Scott Turner with the football at fullback for the Tigers. Kicks it outside 50. High flyer. Oh, nearly the mark to Burke. Couldn't quite grasp it. Close to the line, Campbell squeezes a kick, but only as far as Ian Fairley. Fairley's kick in towards centre half forward. Carey couldn't take the mark. Whitney quickly onto his left foot. Didn't go far. Burke tidies up. Bonds hand pass. Oh dear. The Richmond player, Gale, just falling over. Schwass, little kick is all right. Roberts is marked. Now Mark Roberts goes in towards centre half forward. High flyer there was Anthony Rock. The ball spills for Allison. Was it too low? No, the hand pass wide for Roberts. Roberts this time goes for goal and misses by a long way. Misses everything. I so, wonder who he was actually uh, short passing that too. There was only a couple of small players in the middle of the ground. Scott ended up, uh, the rocket was, I think, going up to the grab. Turner to bring it back into play. The vital ten minutes of this game about to unfold. McKernan and Deer, the flies. A vice like tacklers and put on Matthew Armstrong. And it's eventually taken over the line. A free kick. He certainly lifted Matthew Armstrong. His umpire has a bit of a slip and slide. He must have been watching Dipper at the start of the game. Allison played that well. Centering in towards half four. Longmire came steaming out with Carey, but in front is Sticky. Jamie Tate. Oh, look at this. And a chance to run here. Look at him. They got Whitney on the outer side. And away he goes. The wandering minstrel of football. Ambles up towards half forward. Richardson comes over the top. Rogers is there. King is also there for North Melbourne. So too is Laidley. And it's the latter who tidies up. Back towards the halfback flank. Longmire and Gale. Both there. Longmire defending. Crowd has built to well over 50,000. From the throw in, they'll do it all again. Wonderful atmosphere, particularly if you're a Tiger fan. They lead by 39 points. Schwass. Campbell, well done. Look at the tackling. Absolutely fierce. Stuart Maxfield and Wayne Schwass disentangle themselves. They've been uh, at it all night. Maxfield probably saying, well, just check the scoreboard at the moment. Fairly, the Williamstown fisherman hooks it round his body, goes towards centre wing. McKernan gets the hand pass away to Stevens. North Melbourne go down towards the half forward line. Carey and Turner. Carey, soccer like tactics. Oh, the skill of the man. Beautifully done. Archer will have a shot. 35 out. Still, Carey had to battle hard, didn't he, Sandy? You oh, know, yes. I mean, Scotty Turner did a pretty good job. Just caught at the at the end there when he may have slipped. Just then. Yep. 
Yeah, well, going to the ground is uh, really just not on in this day and age. Sometimes you can't avoid it. But you can see the repercussions on that occasion. Kerry kept his feet and ended up with the football. Archer looking for his second goal of the quarter. 45 degree angle. Starts at left. And that is an atrocious kick. Out of bounds on the floor. Nice coming on for Stuart Maxfield. Well, you'd have to give the points to the Richmond defence. At this stage, they've restricted North Melbourne to just to five goals. That's a poor kick by Whitney. Gathered by Stevens. Handball. Only as far as free. Free's kick. <laughs> Everybody getting out of the road of it. Gee whiz, you get down there, Jared. You would have got a kick then. <laughs> that was probably the best example I've seen this year as an upcountry mongrel punt. <laughs> Tony Free, the culprit. But he cleared for the Tigers. It's still within 50 metres of goal for North Melbourne. They've got the numbers. Shoal gives away a little bit of ground. Stevens, awkward ball. That could be nearly a free kick too. No, maybe the ball over before Michael Gale's tackle applied. So a throw in. Maxfield having a spell on the bench for Richmond. It's been worked uh, another 35, 40 metres away from the North Melbourne goal. Bond, handball, too fierce. Archer and free. It was free uh, tackle and he didn't have the football. No, says the umpire. So on the right hand forward point of the square in North Melbourne's attacking half, the umpire will bounce. It's about 75 metres from the Kangaroos goal. They've kicked just five goals against Richmond's 11-3. And we're getting close to half time. Knights tries to clear the pack. Scott's tackled hard and fierce. Archer, Schwartz can't clear the ball. And the umpire will bounce once again. Much tighter quarter now, Robbo. We've seen just four goals scored for the term. Two to each side. After the Tiger onslaught in the first quarter. More importantly from Richmond's point of view and disappointingly from North Melbourne's point of view, they haven't made too many inroads, the Kangaroos, in the Richmond lead at quarter time. No. Tony Free's kick is well smothered, but it ricochets straight to Matthew Knights. His kick is high. Smith charged his arm and belted it clear. Rock gives it back to the running Smith. Celebrate your 200 and find Carey just on the 50. He can go for hole. He can go for home if he wants to. And he's going to let one go from 55. It's a drop putt. It's high and it's going to be close. It's made it. Great goal. Carey gets his second. Now they close the gap. And that what's, that's what makes Wayne Carey such a champion player. He's down. There's no question that Whitney's had his measure for the entirety of the game. He lucked out with a goal uh, earlier in the quarter. But on that occasion, just pure class got in that one. Just kept battling and battling. And got a vital one. McKernan gets it down. Schwoss, can he break clear? Well done by Wayne Schwoss. Leading from the front. Armstrong's kick was ordinary. Free's a chance to mop up. Carey goes in hard. Tackles Tony Free, didn't have the football. So captain on captain. And Richmond come out on top. Tony Free, two broken jaws in, uh, what, six or seven months of football. Ordinary kick again by that player, but Bond is there to gather for the Tigers. Gets past and confidently taps it on the ground once. Kicks to half forward, but it breaks down. The mark is taken by King. King for North Melbourne at centre half back. Now he's asked to play on. He goes straight down the ground towards centre half forward. The ball spills. McKernan, handball, Carey. Can he get another one? Carey pumps it towards goal. Longmire and Turner. A free kick, is it? No, it's been uh, given the all clear. Greg Deere in a bit of trouble behind play. Attended by one of the trainers. But he's a tough customer, Greg Deere. Quite durable in this caper of AFL football. Boundary throw in Carey and Whitney. Carey down to the front. Archer. What's he done? Great stuff. Robbo, take us through it again, you pumped up. Oh, oh, this is up. enormous stuff because North Melbourne have just struggled and that's another indication of how much pressure they're putting on. Glenn Archer had to hack it out of mid-air. 
So, they're coming back hard. 11-3 plays seven straight. Deer gets it out of the centre for the Tigers, down towards the 50-metre line. Richardson comes charging out. Lose it to his teammate. Can they offer a reply? Not at the moment. King defends. The export Melbourne star. Oh, Gary. Look at this fella. Is he left it? Keep him out. Look out. Armstrong's gone. Advantage. Burke steadies. Back towards half four. Free kick. Giving away the free kick. Sandy, the Tigers smash. had a go goal there. The tackle by Tony Free on Matthew Armstrong was an absolute beauty. Yep. Inspirational stuff. North making a change. Blakey's coming off for Roberts. Look out. You're gone. Anthony Rock this time. Tackling sensation. Free kick to Richmond. Again, Jared, they're trying to get past the tackles. They just can't break them. No, he's definitely outstanding. Passes in towards Edwards. Tigers needing a steadier. He's kicked two, both of those in the first quarter. And anybody that thinks tackling is overrated in this game uh, really mustn't be seeing this one because uh, that's really what's created the goal for Richmond here. A Tony Freed tackle, and that one there was just outstanding. Edwards from 42 metres. Tiger fans love it. He's got his third. And a very handy answering goal, Jerry. Just what they needed because... Uh, North Melbourne, there's no doubt that they've lifted. They've regrouped somewhat. They'll go into half-time a little bit buoyed, particularly if they can get another one or two. But just getting back to that tackling, the statistics evidently from yesterday's Footscray-Melbourne game was something like 50 tackles to Footscray, 12 to Melbourne, and the result was a debacle for the Demons. So, Richmond go forward again from the ruck contest. Campbell to half-forward. Punch back towards the front of the pack. Brendan Gale out into the path. Campbell created, then nearly got the chance for a goal. Now Nash. Oh, he usually laps them up. Into the pocket. Duffy. Give him a little bit of space. And he's marked in the right forward pocket on a difficult angle. But he's a goal kicker. That's what he's employed for. He's kicked three. Again, distance, not a problem. Runs around to give himself a little bit more space. Kicks for goal. And misses. So a bit of an anti-climax there. Tiger supporters, young, old, whatever. They're pretty happy. At this stage, their team leads 12-4 to seven goals straight. So still a margin of 34 points. It has been a pretty even quarter, and it's, uh, I guess, best indicated by the fact that in the first quarter we said it was 18-9 uh, to 9 in favour of Richmond inside 50. This quarter, it's 14-12. to 12. Knights at the back of the pack under pressure. He's put it out of bounds. Just over three minutes remaining. Good crowd, Excellent Sandy. crowd, Robbo. Yes, it's built considerably. They were looking at 50. Well, I'm sure they've got that. Laidley's kick, Whitney comes over the top, Michael Gale waits down, gives it to Deer, whose kick is smothered. Gale, it's a, an attempted punch away, he's taken over the line. Once again, North Melbourne's uh, put McKernan down into the square, Longmire's come out to centre-half forward, Archer's well up the ground, and Carey following the ball almost, getting dragged right down. Michael Gale uh, being forced off the ground for a moment with the blood rule. We're just looking at how much blood is on his knees, Andy. Eh? He should have kept his socks up. Yeah. Maxville long. How's he having to go off for the blood rule when you're on such a roll that Michael Gale is? Yeah, exactly. He'd be dirty. Here's his brother doing the ruck work. And Smith also getting into the act. This time Knights keeps it and he bends it round towards Mick Martin, who thumps it down to Callaway. Hurriedly onto his left foot, he goes back into half forward once again. Some shepherding sees David King able to take the mark. The junkyard dogs away on the outer side. Laidley. Rogers gives chase and he pressures him all the way. Marvellous to see. Campbell round his body. Richardson on his own. He's off. Dropped the mark, I think. He's gone. Well, 
Don't drop your chin now, Matthew. To send away. Carey. In the half forward towards Longmire and Archer. Both there. Waiting down was Knights. Couldn't take it cleanly, but he battles hard to regain the football. Controlled it to Kellaway. They've got a run here. Comes from Broderick. Across the centre. Down towards left half forward came the kick from Rogers. He finds Daffy. Chips into half forward proper. And Campbell takes the mark. Eighth kick for Wayne Campbell. Boy from Golden Square in Bendigo. An area that has produced so many good players, particularly for the Carlton Football Club. Because he only had one kick in the first quarter. So his second quarter has been far more important. Flat looking putt. Drops into the square. Kicked two goals for the quarter. He's had six kicks in this quarter after a magnificent start. He started on Wayne Swass, got two early goals on him. Swass a bit of an experiment, uh, perhaps trying to unsettle the Tiger plans by starting him on the half-back flank. But Daffy is really having a big night. Just over a minute left in the second term. North Melbourne under pressure, trying to clear the ball from the centre. Scott receiving from Armstrong. Scott gets his right foot to it. But a good mark taken by Whitney in front of Carey. So Whitney would be pretty pleased at this stage. Carey has kicked uh, two goals. Broderick can't break the tackle, but gets the hand pass away to David Burke. Burke's kick in towards half forward. Very good. Richardson leads and marks on his chest. Richardson perhaps too far out to score, but he's going for the big bomb. Gets underneath it and off the side of his boot. May go out on the full, I would think. No, it's been uh, thumped over. Matthew Richardson may be a little disappointed with that effort, but uh, he's done reasonably well so far. He's kicked three goals. Not quite up to half-time. Fairly doing the ruck work with Brendan Gale. Over the top is Martin going nowhere. Nash ties him up. And the umpire will call for a bounce about 30 metres from the Richmond goal. Well, North Melbourne do well to hold the Tigers out. They kicked a goal in the dying seconds of the first quarter. Nash appealing for the free kick. Kick clear by Fairley. Gather was by Scott. Can the Kangaroos get the goal in the dying seconds? Roberts goes to half forward. The siren will sound and it is half time. There will be no further score. And in a brilliant first half, Richmond have been enormous. And they look fairly pleased with themselves after adding four goals to the North Melbourne's four goals. They lead 13-4 to seven goals straight at halftime. Yes, they've increased the margin only by two points. But the important thing from a Tiger point of view is that North Melbourne has not been able to cut the lead. Their main contributors have been Nick Daffy, who's booted four. Stuart Edwards has three. Matthew Richardson has a three. Whilst for North Melbourne, it's a very different scenario. Glenn Archer and Wayne Carey each have two goals. Repeating the half-time scoreline here at the MCG. The Tigers by 40 points. 13-4 to seven straight. Who won? That's the secret tonight. And John Longmire starting the second half on the bench for North Melbourne. 13-4 plays seven straight. Deer and Capuano rock. North wanting a lightning start. Stevens may provide it. 45 metres out. He sets sail for home and misses to the right. Positive start for the North Melbourne, though. Corey McKernan in the uh, goal square. He's obviously the elected full forward for the year, for the moment, anyway. Turner to bring it back into play. Straight down the middle. Carey has his name all over. Close to the man on the mark. In the half forward. Richmond defence and Michael Gale standing strong. Chips wide. But it's effective. And Jamie Tate has it almost down to the half back line. 
kicks towards the wing. Off the back of the pack it comes to Bond, who drifts it up towards Richardson territory at half forward. North Melbourne have the numbers. They go back to half forward once again. Allison trying to do the work from behind. Knights was there. King caught. Well, somehow he got booted the ball. And he finds Carey. Didn't travel a required distance. He gets caught. Gets it away to Scholl. Hurried high kick in towards McKernan. Edged out. Archer comes through. McKernan. Too blatant. Yep. Pushed out as John Longmire looks on from the bench. Corey McKernan will have a shot. Kick one in the first quarter. And once again, Rob, it looked like it was pretty much in the side. It didn't matter anyway. Archer took the mark, I suppose, Jerry. Yep. The 39 points down. And now the 38 points down. Well, in the context of the game, those two misses may prove critical for North Melbourne. It's good to get a one early in the piece just to get yeah, the momentum yeah. and the confidence going again. They've restructured their side a little bit. Roberts is uh, doing some mobile ruck work around the ground. They've got McKerna down there. Yeah, Should have got some goals. I was thinking exactly the same thing. The kick in goes towards right half back. Left half back actually for Richmond and the mark is taken by Whitney. Whitney plays on. Kicks it down towards the half forward line. All, all over the top of Brendan Gale but no mark. Broderick. Now Scott. He couldn't get clear. Campbell gets the handball wide. Brendan Gale again, tackled. King was the tackler. Broderick gets his left foot to it. Goes about 40 metres. Punched away by Ross Smith. Gathered by Bond. Bond quickly onto the right foot towards the full, full forward area. The ball spills. No, the free kick has been awarded to Keenan Reynolds against Edwards. And the North Melbourne defender will relieve. Not by foot, but by hand. He gets it to Laidley. Laidley goes in short. Risky. But the mark is taken by Armstrong. He plays on. North Melbourne look um, just a little bit more intense at the start of this second half. Taken by Rock. Rock runs along the half forward line. Kicks in towards the uh, full forward area. You can see the 50 metre line in the foreground there. Jamie Tate goes for the safety of the line. And a boundary throw in will take place. Anthony Rock just not quite getting enough penetration off that left foot. Capuano. Up against Greg Deer. Deer does well. Tape is tackled. The ball spills. Rock is the tackler. Tape going nowhere, and the umpire will call for a bounce. 50 metres from the North Melbourne goal. The Kangaroos have come out quite hard at the start of the second half. Callaway gets his left foot to it, gets it down nearly to the wing, and it will have another throw in. David Burke, the player in picture. Of course, son of one of the all-time Richmond legends, Francis Burke. Capuano and Deer jostle for front spot. Schwoss. Stuart Maxfield also having a spell. Charles and Prescott. Deer. Roberts over the top. Burke asks the question. Ball spills free to Campbell. Gives it to his captain. Can't get a kick stolen by Scott. Roberts Scott into half forward. It's just about the best player on the ground. Michael Gale. Loses his competition. The Knights in the middle. Burke running wide. He looks to go the other side. It's a great run by Archer. Falling away. He'll bring it out from half back. Going towards Carey. A thumping fist down, but straight down the throat of Scott. He pumps it down towards full forward. Tony Free leads in the race for Richmond. A bit of time and a clever kick. No. It floats over the line on the full. Well, he was looking for just to make a few metres, but going reasonably flat out wasn't a good kick. So Allison will bring it back into play. He'll centre it, wanting Carey. Can't take it. Kellaway to tidy up. Has a bit of time on that outer side. 
gives it to Whitney, who's done pretty well. They are stolen. Scholl blocks it. Opens the door for King. He may pay heavily for this, but King is away to the right and puts through a behind. North have had their chances early on in this third quarter. Another one of those, uh, what you'd classify as look away handballs there, going unstuck. 82 plays 45. Again, Turner to kick it uh, back in for the Tigers. Gets outside 50. Whitney been paid the mark. Maybe just a little fortunate. But the ball is with Stuart Whitney. He's wide of centre half back. Got good numbers though, 10 possessions. High kick from only uh, two strides start. The ball spills back towards the centre of the ground. Armstrong, beautiful. Great hand pass, creative there for Schwoss. Schwoss under pressure towards half forward. Tate does well. Gathers the ball and gets the handball back to Whitney. Whitney looking in trouble. Handball goes nowhere. Scott tries to throw it on his boot. Still, oh, gee whiz, you might be lucky if you get away with that. No, you're not. <laughs> Look at the look of disbelief. <laughs> well, it wasn't very well disguised, and Craig Scholl has got the ball deep at right half forward. Goes in towards centre half forward. Looks for the captain, but the oh. third in line, Capuano has taken a very good mark. Just a youngster in terms of games played, but a promising youngster at that, Matthew Capuano with the football for the Kangaroos. Yeah, saw him play a couple of good games uh, at the MCG on Friday nights late, late in the season last year. There's a lot of competition for the uh, tall spots at North Melbourne. He just has continued to force his way through Matthew Capuano, a very talented player, as we saw with him taking that big mark. Well, if the Kangaroos are to be a chance, he's got to kick a goal here. It looks good. Post. No, it's hit the post. Well, they've now kicked four behinds in the third quarter so far, 7-4 to 13-4. So they've bridged the gap, but not by goals, just by behinds. Turner again. Burke in front. Whitney again, picking up plenty of possessions. Broderick to half four. Martin and Fairley both there. Rogers suckers off the ground, deep into the Richmond zone, and it slides over the line. With Edwards. Throw in. Shot on the sideline. Gail Stevens caught. Gets boot to ball, however. Up towards the wing. Capuano had it for a moment. Now he has it again. He tumbles it up towards the centre wing. Only to see Duncan Killaway cut across to take a timely mark. Interesting kick towards Bond and Campbell. The latter snares it, gives it to Deer, who lopes away, then kicks long in towards full forward. Martin sets himself, fisted away. The pack down in front. Martin quick to recover. Well done, Mickey Martin. Away he comes, trying desperately to lift the ruse. He kicks up towards King Carey. With him is Whitney. Look at the desperation of Whitney. And a clever little tap out towards Gale. They're going now, Michael Gale, 60 metres and closing from 55 into full forward. Capuano sets himself, can't mark, the duck Daffy is there, can't take it. Scott weaves his way out of trouble and he bounces clear. Well done by the Kangaroos, they faced a very determined Richmond side coming forward then. But the ball defensively kicked out towards where Matthew Richardson is marked. Looking to go short. Kicks into the man on the mark. The ball spills for Rogers. Chance for Edwards. Handball. Campbell. Not far enough. Ross Smith to defend for the Kangaroos. Kicks out towards the wing. Carey, good mark. One against two. And the North Melbourne skipper is back. He's behind the wing. Kicks looking for Allison. Allison does well. Handball off. Terrific play by the Kangaroos. Stevens goes for goal. It might bounce through for a behind. 
Two behinds, kicked by Anthony Stevens, both in this third quarter. He's had eight kicks and two hand passes. 82 plays 47. Turner again. In towards half back. Punch by Gale. Back towards the North Melbourne goal. Scholl oh, right. knocks oh. it back behind him. In goes Stevens. Handball Allison. Short pass by Allison. Capuano leaves it for Armstrong. Scott loves it. No. Shocker off the left foot by Robert Scott. High. Again, no mark. North Melbourne might scramble something. Yes, they do. No, they don't. It's touched off the boot. So a boundary thrown in the left forward pocket. Anthony Rock. Not able to capitalise. Plenty of pressure being applied by the Tigers. Have another look at Anthony Rock's snapshot at goal. And... What's the big goal, umpire? Well, there's life after football. Capuano. <laughs> Deer. Broderick. Across the full back line. Goes Broderick. Short. All right. Campbell. From centre half back, Wayne Campbell. A high kick in towards the centre of the ground. Punched away by Martin. Quite fiercely. Stevens to Scholl. It's good play. Scholl across the half forward line. A very important take here. Burke must get a free kick. Matthew Capuano had to give it away. David Burke was going to take the mark. Well, he made the mistake there of just making his eyes look directly at the player. He could have achieved the same thing with his eyes on the ball and perhaps not given away the free kick. So the Assumption College youngster goes towards Broderick. In towards half forward. Well no Knights. Rossi Smith. Game number 200. And he wobbles an ugly punt down towards half forward. Capuano's got to put the skates on. Tape dodging and weaving. Gives it to the kid from Camperdown. And away he goes to Whitney. Whitney gets clear just in time to get his kick down towards the 50. Out comes Edwards, claimed by Keenan Reynolds. The ball spills free out the back. Player allowed to go on. Bond strikes the tackle. Kicks from 50 metres. Kicks and kicks a goal! Chris Bond gets his first, and a telling one for the Tigers. Yes, well done to Chris Bond. He was... Uh... Well, almost knocked out in the early part of the second quarter, but he was shaken, not stirred. And he's got up. And he's gone on to kick a pretty good goal there is Bond. Well, the first goal of the second half kicked by the Tigers, and it's taken about 12 minutes. Again, they go forward. Daffy is kicked to left half, right half forward. Awkward bounce. Richardson gets a fist to it. Campbell, Broderick, Campbell again, unselfishly. Daffy for number five. Yes, thank you very much. Nick Daffy. Birthday, Christmas, Father's Day. I don't know, Nick, but it's your day, son. 15-4, play 7-5. I think he might know something that uh, perhaps Nick doesn't know if you're giving him Father's Day. However, what a goal. And how often do you see it happen? 12 minutes, North Melbourne dominated play. Had the ball in their forward line for most of it. Then four they go and bond and the Duck get goals. 15-4 plays 7-5. Capuano, but it's Knights. Roberts. In fact, there's only two people at Richmond that are married in the club. Well, we won't worry about that. Ross Smith. He is, and he kicks down towards the half forward line where Anthony Rock takes the mark. In towards Carey and Archer. The latter almost took it. Burke gets a hurried kick towards the half back flank. It ricochets clear, bouncing towards the boundary line. Going to be kept in by Arno. Overrun by Manny Armstrong. And eventually sock it over the line for throwing. Listen to those Tiger fans. Applauding Kellaway and applauding Richmond. Almost down to centre wing. Campbell over the top. Recovers well. He's a good player to Kellaway. 
fisted away from Martin. That was by Richardson. Caught behind Martin. He knew he had to get the fist there. Campbell's had 10 kicks and 8 handballs, uh, Sandy. So 18 positions so far in the game. Well, he's just had a sensational start to the year. There's another one, although the kick was smothered. Armstrong's kick is high towards Carey, who is sandwiched out of it. But it'll sit nicely for Callaway. Awkwardly onto the left boot. Kicks towards half forward. Knew it again, Smith. Player. Yes. Well, it's a big night for him. Laidley comes wide and finds Manny Armstrong. As Manny left footer is forced onto the right. Turner takes the hand pass and away they go. Nice. Another left footer. Long kick into half forward. Edwards got a hand to it. So did it Martin as he gets the hand pass away. Dean Laidley wobbles it over the line as Richardson picks himself up. Might have just copped a flick to the head, but he's OK. A couple of changes here. Blakey coming on for Armstrong. And Nace coming off the ground, replaced by Maxfield. Oh, Brendan Gale takes it out of the ruck contest to Broderick. Only as far as Mickey Martin. Handball over the top. Laidley, awkward ball. He's going to get run down. There's no easy kicks, Dean. You've got to get rid of it quickly. Anthony Stevens could vouch for that. And the ball has been marked by Callaway in the middle of the ground. He's been a grand defender, Callaway. A hard man at the football. Kicks towards centre half forward. Punched back by the North Melbourne defence. Back towards the centre of the ground. Rogers does well. Gets it down to Bond. Bond to right half forward. Oh! will kick his first goal for the game and the Tigers 16th from the square he kicks it Wayne Campbell a very good contributor for the Tigers Stephen straight off the ground to be replaced by Armstrong Just have a look at uh, Matthew Richardson's big fly there. Good grab under the, these conditions. And he goes on to give it to, Cam to Campbell, who actually only had one possession in the first quarter. No surprise. Stevens off the ground. Deer tries to flick it out the back door. Knight burrows in, head down, bottom up. interesting during that passage of play and the 50 taken down that Wayne Kelly ran right down the ground and had a word to a few including Ross Smith then turned around and went straight back again it's on Richmond's half forward line pushing back towards the wing oh, Burke does well just gets his kick in time but only short Roberts puts boot very quickly it comes towards centre wing back to Burke again off to Deer Floating hand pass wide towards Rogers. Rogers is 70 metres out. Richmond are charging home here. Laidley fairly couldn't take it. Snap by Daffy is high. In towards full forward. Now the charge is on. Edwards! Don't tell me he's kept another one. graduation here tonight the Tigers but I mentioned that there's only two bachelors sorry there's only two married men out there for the Tigers and the point being that when you haven't got a group of young players are going out together the confidence builds the uh, momentum builds and that's what they've got running for them at the moment spirit enormous in the Tiger camp Shoal kicks to half forward but it's broken down Callaway marks safely on his chest transfers play to the members wing Young man with a fairly mature head on his shoulders. David Burke, Gale and Free to half forward to the back of the...
the pack, Ross Smith. A little short hand pass oh, off the player's boot, was it? No. Found out by Deans that it uh, is an all clear throw in. Stevens back onto the ground to the uh, expense of Allison. Boundary throw in right half forward for the Tigers. Chance again, Campbell, Edwards. Ball spills for Fairley. Not far enough, Callaway again. Hard worker is Duncan Callaway. And he's marked on his chest at right half forward for Richmond. He kicks inside 50 metres. Looks for Richardson, punched away by Martin. Contest there between Smith and Maxfield. And another throw in. Not only is North looking down at a loss, but it is certainly not helping their already very poor percentage. Richmond, on the other hand, uh, waltzing along. There he goes. Well, I thought he was going to go. The Knights tried to get the hand pass away. Burke should take this, and he does on centre wing. Youngster tries to get onto a torp. Goes down to half forward, but a good mark taken by Keenan Reynolds. And it's interesting, Richmond, in the coming weeks, have Brisbane at the MCG in round five, and Collingwood, round six at the G, and then Adelaide. So it could be a most exciting month. If you follow the boys from Punt Road. North preparing another change with Allison coming on again for Roberts. Rock around the body up towards Carey. Fisted clear of that player, Stevens threads through some heavy traffic. Good smother by Tate. Off it comes towards Michael Gale. Now to Matthew Knights. Listen to the roar, it's just sensational. Up towards centre wing, chopped off by Smith. Great contributor and a great trier for North Melbourne in his 200. Down towards Longmire, spent time on the bench. Tony Free ripped off the football. A chance now for Robert Scott. He bounces his way into goal. They so desperately need one. first and the Northerners 8-8-5 play 17-4 and I was just thinking Robbo what would you possibly do if you were the coach of uh, North Melbourne Dennis Pagan I guess you can only hope that they give a, a general lift across the ground 10 goals down it's going to be tough for them oh very difficult Jared I thought at half time Richmond were going to win and they've carried on in this third term North Melbourne's last goal coming at the 20-minute mark of the second quarter. Been a long time between drinks, Robbo. Only just. But the play goes on. Matthew Knights has been sensational. Hand pass away to Rogers. Rogers kicked to the front of the goals. A terrific effort by Ross Smith. Can he clear the pack? Hand pass. Goes as far as Blakey. Blakey's quick kick out near the wing. Again a contest for North Melbourne. McKernan gets his right foot to it. Important, but Greg Deer hacks it out of midair. King leads in the race. Good gather by King. Gets him back onto the right foot. Walks past two opponents and then kicks to half forward. Punch away by free. Discipline from half back. Greg Deere again working overtime in the middle of the ground. Michael Gale. Great kick by Gale. Richardson is marked. Michael Gale has been terrific across that half back line. But the punch by Free, and then by Greg Deer. And the kick by Michael Gale was precision for the big forward. It's not a bad run up, Sandy. Uh, shades of Michael Holding. Matthew Richardson. He's kicked, uh, what's he kicked, three goals? And he's now kicked four. He's had a pretty good start to the year, hasn't he? Accuracy has been his, uh, his strong point. But so too is uh, marking and mobility and just more maturity that comes with uh, playing extra games of football. In fact, I think Mike, Michael Martin's been quite a good player for uh, North Melbourne also. But Richardson is uh, just growing with every game. 112 plays 53 and a good bounce. 
no one comes away cleanly with it. Oh, doing it well hard was Tony Free, leading by example as the skipper kicked down towards half forward. Smith heads for the boundary line. Maxfield and Edwards going with him. Keen Reynolds there for North. Well, he usually leads with his jaw, so that's a pleasant change for <laughs> Tony Free. But uh, Ross Smith, well, not a great game, uh, not personally, but for the club for his 200th game. He's in fact had a ripper in defence. But North Melbourne have got more worries than this. They've got Carlton next week. And here's Campbell. On the boundary line, bending it back. Martin couldn't take it cleanly. Sucked away by Richardson. Danger again for North Melbourne. Mickey has it this time. Comes to Keenan Reynolds. He's tucked in the back pocket. Not a good kick. Oh, Knight's almost sensational. Takes it again from Rogers. An excellent hand pass. Here they go. Here comes Dan. first quarter he's got two in the second and he's got two in the third so he's a model of consistency Sandy Nineteen four plays eight five it's turning into an annihilation at the MCG it's all Richmond here goes Matthew Richardson again throws it onto his left foot Edwards from behind, taken by Reynolds. Reynolds kicks it clear, but not quite far enough. Tony Free, aggressive, shrugs the tackle. Maxfield, short kick. Rogers! Oh, oh no. he just couldn't quite grasp it. And Archer in a little bit of trouble behind play in the hands of the trainer. Just gasping for air, maybe. Slightly winded. He's a tough customer. Boundary throw in right forward pocket for Richmond. Just half a minute left. Edwards knocked away. Maxfield. Only as far as Rock. Now Smith. Smith kicks wide. Not far enough. Michael Gale will go back for the Tigers. To the 50 metre line. Richardson again. He's played half a game. Matthew Richardson, hasn't he? Four goals and been a jumping jack. He's kicked to the front of the square. Brendan Gale, the ball spills Archer. Brendan Gale goes to Broderick, he's dumped it! Broderick kicks his second goal. And Richmond go marching on, they've kicked their 20th with only four behinds. The accuracy is phenomenal. Well, Paul Broderick is... Uh... Didn't have a great first half. He was always under the packs and working hard. He didn't get his hands on the ball, but he's had nine possessions in this third quarter. And along with a couple of other players, in particular Wayne Campbell, have really just torn the heart out of the, the North Melbourne midfield. Well, I don't think even Richmond will have time for another one in this term, but who knows? Archer. And listen to this crowd. Just listen to this. Midfield did dominate uh, for Richmond after about the first 10 minutes where North Melbourne had some control of the football but couldn't quite put a score on the board. And also thought Whitney had a pretty good quarter. He had seven possessions uh, on Wayne Carey then. He rested back the ascendancy from the great player who uh, just came into his own just before half time. But also David Burke, I thought, showed some a fair bit of ability on that back line. His disposal let him down a couple of times when he tried to bomb the ball, but it's been all Richmond all night and uh, really now it's just a matter of how far. Seven goals to one in that third quarter. The blitz goes on, 24, 124, North, 8-5, 53. Oh, the final quarter. Richmond have been stunning. Swass playing at centre half forward, or in fact lining up there. Carey in the middle of the ground. Capuano does the ruck work and wins it down to Stevens, who tumbles it to half forward. 
The bouncing ball not there for Lomwa. His immediate opponent in Turner pushes wide out in front of Bond. With him is Armstrong, close to the boundary line and eventually over. So at the present time, we've got Broderick picking up Carey and the Whitney picking up Schwoz. Wonder how long it'll last. Capuano and Deer this time. Hurried kick towards the half-back flank came from Campbell, who's been in excellent touch right from the word go. Scott and Knights. Jared, do you see Matthew Knights as, a, as an improving player? He's taking a little bit of responsibility under his wing now as a senior player at Richmond? Well, I, I, he's had a great game tonight, but uh, according to my Richmond spies, he probably hasn't been in scintillating form this season. But... Uh, He's a, one, he's a very good player, he's a best and fairest winner, he's a state of origin player and if he could produce a stellar season, his best ever season, well it's going to really uh, push Richmond well and truly into the top echelon of the, of the eight. They'll make it, there's no doubt about that. Bond towards half forward, ball spilling free, it comes down towards Stuart Maxfield. The locks have been trimmed but the dash certainly hasn't. Towards the 50 metre line, Richardson shrugs one, gives away the hand pass, it's a stray, taken by Scholl. North now have a chance to set something up. Laidley ambles down the half-back line, comes over the centre, Knights is there, and he's going to be paid the football. Midfielders have been sensational, I mentioned Campbell, probably been their best player this season, despite uh, a quiet first quarter tonight, he's been excellent, Jared. No doubt, his figures uh, suggest that he's had almost 20 possessions after quarter time. And there he is. 21 in fact, thanks Robert. Your so maths is brilliant. Boundary throw in, just forward of the wing. For Richmond. North Melbourne, King. Can he get clear? No, the three tackles in a row by Richmond. Locked him up. David Burke couldn't get clear. Armstrong can to half forward. The ball spills as a chance now for Nichols. Just slips. Taps it into the path of Capuano. Capuano does well. Gets a North Melbourne goal. It was a struggle. But pretty well done in the finish by the big fellow. He gets his first goal. North Melbourne get the first goal of the last term. But they still trail by 65 points. Yeah, they'll be looking for credibility now in North Melbourne, just trying to uh, make it respectable on the scoreboard. A few players could hopefully run themselves into some form and make their figures look a little bit more respectable. Greg Deer. And a big guy. Hasn't he been terrific? Big heart. Campbell gets it down to Knights. Knights clear. Not quite enough for oh. Michael Gale, but he's able to get the handball. Whitney spills it. His recovery not bad. Not far enough. Armstrong. It may have been Archer. Nichols. Scott. As far as Scholl. Wider still. Stevens. Snapshot for goal has been marked by Turner. Strength was good there on Longmire. Away to Gale. Michael Gale has a chance to run. Has a look up towards the half forward line. Fisted clear by Laidley. Waiting down is King. Dashes through. A penetrating hand pass goes to Capuano, he's just kicked one, he fires away at goal for a second but misses to the left. Turner to bring it back into play. Given plenty of time. Pinpoint pass finds his man in Campbell. To send a wing, but he does Capuano, who's been in just about everything in the last two minutes. Off to his captain. In towards half forward. Longmire the target, but he was besieged. Turner says, we'll get out of here and have a throw in. Had a good game, Turner. Had John Longmire taken off the ground. Hasn't done too many things wrong tonight. 75 metres from the North Melbourne goal. Boundary throw in. Taken away by Tate. Kick close to the line. 
is over for a throw in. Tape has been a dogged defender. Gale doing some ruck work. That's Brendan Gale, of course. His brother has played a magnificent game across the half back line for Richmond. Gale tries to get it to the back. Broderick, well done. Michael Gale in trouble back there towards Callaway. Oh, oh Kurachko Schwoss. That's a very dangerous incident there where the player who's ducked his head with his eye on the ball, the player coming the other way. I remember an incident with, uh, I think it was Kevin O'Keefe from Fitzroy, and Neil Saxey said it was a shocker. Yeah, he just and missed his head, Jay, that one. Yeah, well... Got him on the shoulder, which was lucky, Robbo. You're dead right. Those incidents can be uh, quite damaging, but Callaway, that's Chris Bradshaw, the uh, Richmond doctor, and the football may be taken by Broderick. No, Callaway looks well enough to take the kick. He's coming off. No, he's coming off the ground. I thought he may have been going to take the kick, but... Uh, he's lucky he's brought a lot into physio, so he'll be in good hands at home. Well, I've already said tonight that he's a tough little customer. But the football with Broderick. Kicks to the 50-metre line. Gale in front. Jumps high and marks in front of Fairley. Grimacing. Just uh, maybe favouring his left shoulder there. And it was a top effort from just jumping straight up, holding his ground, and he has the football 50 metres from the Tiger goal. Three kicks and five handballs for Brendan Gale. So his fourth kick, you wonder whether he could get the distance from here. It's, uh, the ball doesn't seem to go quite as far in the evenings. But by oh, gee whiz, this is not a bad effort. Hits oh. the post and high up too. So certainly got the distance there, Brendan Gale. Pumped. Registering just one behind. Dean Laidley to kick in for North Melbourne. 65 points the margin. Laidley to the outer side. Oh, look at this. Richardson sensation. This has been a very, very awesome display tonight. Maybe we're seeing the start of something. Who knows? Armstrong. Burke, however, has been excellent, the youngster. Son of a champion. So here he is, directly in front, kicking from 47 metres. A high drop, but up goes the black and gold. It's another one. kick that one is intercepted and uh, this was a good kick this was a ripping kick he's pumped it from just inside the 50 and he's got plenty of talent out there. David Burke kicks his first goal for the game handball clear by Prescott but it's taken by Rock Rock's kicked a half forward for North Melbourne Nichols nearly got hold of it, but Whitney's little touch was important. Through goes Carey. Knocked clear by Reynolds. Roberts leaves it behind. Bond, a handball, not far enough. Carey, but Bond was in the action again. Whitney, a handball wide. Michael Gale, their defence has been absolutely enormous. Handball down the half-back line. Campbell, left foot kick not far enough. Taken by Rock. Rock's kick to the full forward area. The ball spills to the back. Turner. Feigns the hand pass, then confidently goes for a bounce and kicks clear out near the wing. Rogers punched away by Archer, taken by Schwoss. Schwoss goes for goal. Carey over the top, it spills for a behind to North Melbourne. 
Wayne Schwoss, 9-7. Fairly miserable scoreline for North Melbourne. 21-5. Looks quite spectacular for Richmond. Only seven kicks and one handball for Wayne Schwoss. David Burke kicks a goal one minute. Kicks it in from full back the next. Goes to the outer side. Capuano beaten by Deer. Well, it's been an excellent team performance by Richmond tonight. Everyone a real contributor, none the least Deer. Richardson slaps it over the back. King accepts the hand pass. Archer takes the kick up towards half forward. Turner at the back once more is called to play on and he does so to Sticky Tuff. Away he comes to Gale. Not half back. Michael Gale comes to centre wing. Callaway takes the mark and away he goes. Smith. He gives it away to his teammate there in Armstrong and they're out of trouble. Up to half forward. There's Courage. What a mark by Tate. Gale, after good work from his captain, gets it to centre wing and Campbell. Campbell floats it over towards Kellaway. Caught by Stevens. Ball spills free. Charging through is Prescott. Can he go? Over the top and goes and touch for behind. Well, he spent a lot of time on the bench. He'll be delighted to laugh at getting a run. Well, here's Ross Smith on screen. It's amazing how many times uh, a player celebrating a milestone like 100 or 200 plays in a losing side. But uh, tonight's performance, Ross Smith has probably been North Melbourne's best player. He can certainly uh, hold his head up high. Bond tries to get it forward for Richmond, but it rebounds. Scott's handball makes it awkward for Schwoz. He couldn't control it. Well, don't worry, Wayne. You've got to play this one out. Next week's a new day. Brent Allison prepares to come onto the ground for North Melbourne. It's a big day for them also. <laughs> Carl? <laughs> Capuano and Diaz. Go, Jared. It's not as if Carl's not playing uh, ordinarily at the present time. Yeah, too true. Stevens kick across his uh, right shoulder, taken by Carey. Scragged and thrown to the ground. His kick goes in towards half forward free. He's been effective. Kick only as far as Robert Scott. That kick too high. David Burke has taken the mark at right half back. He transfers play across the half back line. The mark is taken by Whitney. Gale, Tigers will go forward here. Gale has got plenty of outreach. A short kick. No, he's going long, but not quite far enough. Smith goes back with the flight of the ball. It beat everyone bar Mickey Martin. His kick. Not too bad. Gale does a good job. He was outnumbered one against two. Prescott gets it to the back. Allison a chance to gather. No, in goes Broderick. Richmond have worked in numbers all night. The sign of a truly professional performance by the Tigers, and that scoreboard reflects it. Umpire will bounce on centre wing. Just over ten minutes remaining. Scott to Schwoss. To half forward, Turner defends. Chips away to Bond. And look at him sprint away from Roberts. Oh, up 30. Through the middle he goes. Up to half forward. Richardson tried to belt it over the back and he caught one on the scone for his trouble. Seeing it over is Paul Broderick. Just have a look at the way he tries to knock it on there. In fact, he didn't try to knock it on at all. He's tried to pull him with the one hand. So a throw in on left half forward. Gale, fairly. Schwoss. His hand pass straight to the opposition. The kick, however, is very wide by Nick Daffy. I'd like him tonight. He's had a big night. He's kicked two goals in every quarter. He's bobbed up with a couple of kids that he didn't know about. <laughs> courtesy of Ian Robinson. Uh, you can't say anything nowadays, can you, Robert? Exactly. <laughs> Left forward pocket. Rogers, no, Laidley, Allison, North out of trouble, 
Back towards Capuano, who's almost down to centre wing. Got a couple of players running through the middle, but he elects to take the kick. Up towards his captain at half forward. Fisted down to Nichols. Nichols playing in front, puts it in towards Reynolds. And he marks 42 metres out, 45 degree angle. And we see this one, uh, Trent Nichols just maintaining his discipline, putting it out in front. Everybody going through the motions at the present time, particularly North Melbourne, just trying to hang in there. Reynolds shoots towards goal, and he has kicked it. Just sneaking it in. The Shane Warm lookalike gets his first. 21-6 plays 10-7. Well, he spent uh, most of the game down in defence, full back, picking up Scott Edwards, Stuart Edwards. But on this occasion, he's gone for it as Michael Gale comes off the ground to the rapturous applause of the Tigers. Gale off the ground, Maxfield on. Scholl tackled by Brendan Gale. Kick towards half forward. Carey gets back onto the right foot, then kicks it wide. Is it wide enough? Maxfield was dragged by uh, Robert Scott. So Maxfield will take the free kick. It really has just fallen apart for North Melbourne in the last couple of weeks, and they're really going to have to struggle to get the four points against Carlton, who, as we said, are playing uh, terrific football. Tate receives from Maxfield, able to get around onto his right foot and kick towards half forward. The ball spills. Prescott, short pass, Edwards, yes, great mark. <laughs> Terrific mark by Edwards. We must mention, this is the last turn, but in the first quarter when we saw a scintillating first eight minutes of this game, Edwards was one of the players for Richmond to set them on their way. What about Prescott? He does look like a balanced player. Beautiful kick, haven't seen much of him. Justin Charles has just come onto the ground, replacing Stuart Wigney. Edwards goes for his fifth goal. Hits the post. Nearly hit the top of the post. Purely irrelevant, of course, as we see Michael Gale. Richmond lead by 11 goals. Ross Smith, seven and a half minutes left. North look at that. Melbourne, plenty of time to get a couple back on the scoreboard to make it look reasonable. I thought it just might have been a, uh, a message or a sig signal that tapping the ball on the chest, on the hip, the left hip. And there's Justin Charles getting his uh, getting a run for the night with the Tigers. He'll enjoy being out in the ground, celebrating what's going to be a fantastic Tiger victory. Yes, and on to Carey. Capuano, Edwards... Plucks it with a one hand, then kicks towards half forward, only to see Archer take a timely mark. North can run it out. Back towards centre wing. Oh, the kick's going to be intercepted by the running Maxfield. Look out, Duncan Kellaway. Unable to take it was Prescott. Maxfield again. Still Maxfield. Under pressure. High and wide. Smith kicks up towards the centre wing. Carey. That was a great play by Carey then. He just outread that ball and just pushed back at the right time and Charles just fell all over his back. No stage it was uh, Carey going for the kick and his stats would indicate, Robbo, he's had a pretty quiet night except perhaps that 10 minutes in the second quarter. 11 and 4. Kicks to half forward. Big pack of players. Kick two goals in that uh, second quarter. In front of this crowd tonight of 62,606. Welcome to Monday Night Football. Here's Kellaway. Saying to Jamie Tape or Chris Bond, you want to run? You go fetch. <laughs> Acrobatic by Schwartz, but will it endear him to the Richmond fans? Towards Roberts, 
can't take it on the half volley. Burke picks it up, kicks back towards the centre wing, but straight to the lovable Wayne. He kicks into half forward. Turner will be the flyer from behind, and he does it confidently, and he does it well. Up towards the centre wing, Knights. Little blind to Maxfield, to half forward. They're ripping it from one end of the ground to the other. Richardson, 60 metres out. The pass is on. But intercepting it is that junkyard dog. Well, they've been under pressure all night, the uh, North Melbourne defence, but they get clear now. Armstrong, Stevens, and Armstrong again towards the uh, full forward area and coming out, taking a good mark on his chest is Keenan Reynolds. Wasn't that a great kick? Well, a good passage of play there, probably their best for the night, but uh, I suppose you, you have to expect that. Richmond have been intense with their pressure in every area of the ground all night. Just have a look at this kick. It's uh, the best part of 50 metres. Just pumps it beautifully onto the chest of Keenan Reynolds. Well, he was known as a goal kicker at Footscray when he had the chance. He's kicked one already, and he'd be a real chance to get his second here. Not a bad kick by Keenan Reynolds. Kicks his second goal. From ten kicks, of course, he started in a key defensive role. Yes, and then he went forward, and he's, uh, he's done OK down there this quarter. Beautiful pass, and as we said. Came as the ball broke down for Richmond on the end of a good passage of play also. His turnover is still very costly. Greg Deere just coming off the ground, being replaced by another ruckman in Chris Nash. And uh, after a fantastic game, he's had. <laughs> well, he's not playing the ruck, is he? On baller? Well, I'll call him an on-ball. There he is with Stuart Wigley, but uh, an excellent game by Greg Deere. Boy from Terralgan, kicked the goal in the first quarter and has rucked magnificently. Clever tap by Maxfield, giving his side the ascendancy again. Down to half forward, Allison tries to belt it back in towards the middle. North trying desperately to finish off with some run. Rock gets it towards Trent Nichols. He heads towards Carey country. Waiting down Capuano, couldn't take it cleanly. Richmond still applying enormous pressure. Justin Charles, fresh man on. Finding out all about that pressure is Matthew Armstrong, the last one up. 20 possessions for Armstrong. 21. But not one he would have liked there, straight to ball. He has worked hard, though. There hasn't been too many in uh, midfield for North giving him a hand. He's been one that uh, struggled under a lot of pressure. Tape. Kicks towards Centerwing. Towards Richardson and wide up. He comes to the left half forward. Smith. Oh, great recovery by Prescott. Sendry kick is clever. Daffy, make it your night. Well, he tried. It was probably his easiest shot, Billy, wasn't it? <laughs> his kick was 6-3 of 21-8. Well, they've been at their most inaccurate for the whole game in the last term, Sandy. They've kicked one goal four at three-quarter time. They had a terrific scoreline of 20 goals four. It, uh, just been off target in this last term. This is Capuano for North Melbourne. He kicks to half forward, Carey and Charles. And the ball scores for a throw in. Nearly up to left half forward. Quite near where the uh, North Melbourne players enter the arena. Of course, Richmond coming from the opposite side of the ground. The old, uh, or the Melbourne rooms. Kick forward by Rock. 50 metres from goal, long by a hand pass. Burke. He's very, very steady, isn't he? David Burke kicks wide looking for Campbell, but uh, just a little too far for that player. And an impressive game there by young David Burke. Left half forward for North Melbourne, Capuano and Edwards. I've been wrapped in Edwards. He's had lots of trouble with injury in the last couple of years, but uh, doing well now. Knocked away from Kerry by Charles. Burke again goes down. 
unfairly, and he will take the free kick. Justin Charles will get it back quickly. But David Burke will add another kick to his statistics. 16 kicks and three handballs. As we see him go down heavily, Carey, then Armstrong. He's kicked towards the wing. Richardson! Leaping, no. Free kick to Martin. Martin goes to Schwartz, gets past Knights, gets past Campbell. One bounce to get him steady onto that left foot. Kicks to half forward, punched away by Turner, kicked by Rock. Anthony Rock has kicked the North Melbourne goal. Rock's first goal, and North Melbourne get their 12th, but they still trail by 55 points. Well done by uh, Wayne Swartz, who's uh, had a few touches of football in the last quarter. Anthony Rock's had a consistent game. He's ended up with 20 touches of the ball, kicked a nice goal there. Just battled hard, but in general, North Melbourne just struggled all over the ground. Back in the middle once more with just a couple of minutes remaining. In fact, a minute and a half. It's going to be a night Richmond fans will remember for a long time. Daffy's in the middle there, but he can't take it cleanly. The Scott gets caught. Trip. Armstrong. A few casualties, but it's been a hectic night. A bit of cramp for Matthew Knights as Armstrong picks himself up. Still in the centre. Stevens, Capuano got the hand pass away towards Roberts, who fires a high kick to half forward. Carey did well, goes over the top. Look out! Crunched was Nichols. Away come the Tigers. And Knight's kick is high towards half forward. Allison, an effective spoil. Unable to take it cleanly was Paul Broderick. It lets North Melbourne in again. Smith to half forward Stevens a chance to score over to Roberts in trouble but still paddling the ball along in front back to Schwartz Wayne Schwartz from 40 metres out shoots in towards goal and has put it through so he gets his first the 1994 club champion inside the last minute 13-7 plays 21-8 well, it has been uh, basically North Melbourne in the last 10 minutes. You can't uh, take anything away from Richmond. They've battled their proverbial out all night and they've just taken the, the foot off the accelerator for the last 10 or so minutes. Wayne Schwash directing traffic. Capuano, a big fist to it. Towards centre half forward, left behind by Charles. Handball wide by Carey into the path of Armstrong. His kick is good. He finds Rock. This will be the last kick of the night. Richmond supporters ecstatic. Wouldn't be really worried about this, I don't think. Although Kevin Morris in the middle there, if Johnny Norton still giving instructions, get back on the line because maybe percentage can be considered. The torpedo punt kick by Anthony Rock. Can he get onto it? No, he can't. It'll drop short. No addition to the scoreline. Callaway takes the ball. Richmond win. By 49 points, 21-8, 134, North Melbourne, 13-7, 85. And you can sing on, although Dipper's got a message down there with Greg Neer. Yeah, thanks very much, uh, Ian. I'm coming. No, that's all. Now, I'll take us back to that first 10 or 15 minutes of that first quarter. It was absolutely electrifying out there, Greg. Yeah, well, we, uh, we finally did something we've been trying to do all year, and that was kick straight. And uh, once we started kicking straight, the pressure was off us, and we could just go to that natural game, which was good. Now, you've been involved with some great wins. Now, tonight must be a special night for Richmond. It really was a good win, but... Last quarter, a bit disappointing. We got beaten in the last quarter, but uh, I know it was a great win for the boys. They would have had a lot of confidence after beating Hawthorne last week to come in tonight's game. Yeah, well, it was a really tough game last week, and uh, we really fought it out right to the end, and it was great, so we did have a lot of confidence. Well, go and enjoy, big fella. Nice to see you. And how about the crowd, uh, Sandy and Robbo? It's just Richmond flags just waving anywhere, everywhere.
players uh, huddled together, but John Northy has been a man that's probably been the silent one behind all of this. Hasn't got a great deal of press about the resurgence of Richmond, and there he is on screen. And he's been in this position before with Melbourne just coming from the bleachers. I don't think I've seen, I've seen a crowd like this. Look at the game berserk. <laughs> well, I think a couple of years ago, uh, I was uh, involved in a game uh, for the old Buffers to try and help uh, Richmond uh, resurrect financially out at Windy Hill. And I think the AFL.